Welcome back to PSC's Tech Bytes. Like always, let me remind you to subscribe to this YouTube channel by pressing the red button in the lower right corner of the screen. Today, we keep on talking about extending objects in Azure Active Directory using Microsoft Graph. And specifically, I want to introduce you to the directory extensions functionality through which you can create type properties which are bound to applications registered in Azure Active Directory and which you can use to extend objects like users, groups, uh, applications, devices and stuff like that. When you use the, the directory extensions, you can use up to 100 uh, extensions for every target object uh, uh, considering this number as the overall number of extension from as many applications as you like. But that's the top limit for every single object. When you use these directory extensions, you can easily do uh, filtering. You can use them for dynamic membership of groups. Uh, and you can even use them inside uh, uh, token uh, with uh, claims uh, representing those values. can be synchronized also with on-premises if you like. When we talk about type properties, we mean that those properties can be binary with up to 256 uh, uh, bytes, can be Boolean, can be a date and time value, an integer or a large integer, as well as a string up to 256 uh, uh, characters. So, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to work with these directory extensions. So, let's assume that we have uh, an application registered in Azure Active Directory, like this one, for example, and we should take a note of the application ID as well as of the object ID, which will represent uniquely our application in Azure Active Directory. Then in the API permissions, we have configured this application to have the application.readwrite.all permission, as well as to get access for reading and writing users. So if I go to Postman, I can show you that we can retrieve this application by object ID, targeting the slash applications endpoint and providing the ID of the application. And here we are. But we can also read the extension properties property of this application. And we can see that right now this property is empty. However, targeting this endpoint, we can also create new extension properties, making a POST request to that endpoint and providing in the body of the request a name for a property that we want to create, a data type, which can be any of the data types supported and described in the previous slideshow, as well as we can provide what the target objects are for this extension property. In my scenario, I'm targeting the user object in Azure Active Directory. So by executing this request, we have now created a new extension property, which will have a unique ID like this one, and which will have this name as the extension property for my user object. If I go back to the list of properties and I make a query, you can see that now we have our extension property in the list of extension properties for our application. So now let's try to use it. First of all, if we want to extend a user, we can simply target the user's endpoint, providing the UPN of a target user that we want to extend, and we can make a patch request uh, via HTTP, providing the name of the property of the extension property that we want to use and a value for that property. For example, being a preferred color of type string, we can provide red as the value. I will make a patch for the uh, specific target user that I have right here. By sending this request, I will get back a 204, so no content, but the actual user object has been updated. In fact, if I will read the object still by uh, users and point slash UPN of the user, and I will select the ID, the display name, and the extension property that we created before, by making a get request for that, I'll be able to get back the extension property with its value. Of course, we can also update uh, the information that we store and we can eventually clean up uh, the user if we want to get rid of the property. In fact, we can make another patch request and instead of providing a real and actual value for the extended property, we can just provide null. By doing that uh, and by targeting the extension property that we want to uh, clean up, uh, we can simply make a patch request. We get back again a 204, but our user will then uh, be cleaned up from the custom extension property. And as such, we can eventually even completely remove the extension property for the from the target application. In order to do that, we will need the unique ID of the extension property in the query string that we will use to make the request. 
So let me go here. We can make a delete request targeting the application where we created the extension property. And in the collection of extension properties, we target the ID of the extension property that we want to remove. So by making this request and coming back to the list of its extension properties, we can now see that the application is now uh, clean and without any additional extension property right here. I think this is a functionality really powerful, especially when you want to store settings uh, for your own application at user or group level or for any of the objects that are supported in Azure Active Directory for directory extensions. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.